And welcome back to the Murdy Creative Co. Podcast. I'm your host, Colin Murdy, and today's topic is You've Got a Friend in Me. But first, I want to say thank you to everyone who supported the company so far. If you haven't got a chance, go check us out on the web at murdycreative.co. That's M-U-R-D-Y creative.co. Or you can check us out on Facebook and Instagram by searching at murdycreative.co to see the best of our product shots. Follow us, keep up to date with our daily photos, and be the first one to know about new product launches. You can also use the subscribe button at the bottom of our website to be included in all of our new product announcements. Be sure to check out our laser engraving, personalization options, and exclusive colors on the website, or you can get a blank one on Amazon Prime. All right. So we've got a lot of really cool things coming down um, the uh, the pipeline within the next few days as well and within the next few weeks. So definitely pay attention to your email inbox. You'll be receiving a couple emails. If those of you who are part of our text message service, you'll probably get informed a little bit sooner. So definitely those of you who want to join our text message service, text MURDY, M-U-R-D-Y, to 77222. Um, we're doing some, some cool things, and I want to make sure you guys are always up to date and informed. Um, so definitely, definitely stay tuned. <laughs> So today's topic got me thinking about, well, actually, let me phrase it. Something else got me thinking about this. It was one of Gary V's recent videos. Actually, I sent it to Meryl, who is our production manager, and I said, this is interesting. And the video I watched, and I thought about it all day, and I'm like, we need to do something about that. And so the next day, we started a program. So the video, um, in, in the video, Gary talks about how A personal relationship is key and how our parents' generation, my parents' generation, I should say, and our grandparents were really well suited for that kind of world, right? When someone was sick, they brought over soup. When someone died, they brought over a meal, right? Like it was this, it was this sense of we as a friend are going to take care of you as one of the members of our community, not looking for anything in return, just to be a good person and to create a good relationship and to foster that relationship. And he was talking about how social media allows us to essentially do that at scale. And I thought about that. I'm like, that's that's interesting because you never think of a personal relationship as something that's scalable. That's in many ways part of its, you know, its charm is that it's not scalable. But I also was thinking about what we can do to foster a personal relationship with people. I genuinely have lived off of and loved the comments that people have been able to leave for us the encouragement the, the little notes those things are awesome and we've created I've, I've got friends now who have been customers over and over again and it's it's just because of our relationship that we've been able to continue to support each other and, and that's where I've been thrilled with that and the opportunities that have presented themselves to do that so I ended up getting Melinda on the phone. Melinda is our uh, customer service person, and she's one of our first experimental kind of remote workers. And we're pretty excited about that. But I ended up talking with her for like a good hour about what we wanted to do and what the vision I had for this was. And so the plan is, and the plan is we're still we're in our early days of it, so we'll obviously, um, I can tell you a little bit about how it's been going so far, but it's who knows how it'll go. But the plan is that we're going to use our company phone line, which is textable and can text back, to send text messages, personalized text messages, to each pe- person who receives a package. So when we ship out our packages, the day after they're delivered, uh, Melinda's going to be sending out text messages to people just saying, hey, I just wanted to make sure that uh, everything was great. I just wanted to reach out and see if you had any questions or concerns um and you know that that text message is hopefully an an open door for people to give feedback to to solve problems as soon as there are because we've actually there's kind of a an ongoing attitude that i've had towards feedback every so often we'll get someone who has some sort of negative feedback on our product and it's always taken seriously it's always been something we've as a usually as a team we discuss and the negative feedback, my attitude has always been, if there's someone that's emailing us, there's 50 people who decided to think the same thing but didn't email us, right? So just because it's just one person who's saying this doesn't mean that, that doesn't mean there's other people who are actually potentially thinking the same thing. So for us, we've really wanted to be able to say, how can we take and, and take that feedback seriously and do our best efforts to engage in conversation with people who've given us feedback so that we can suss out the best path forward so i'm really excited about this because what we can do with this text message is it creates a really low impact way for people to give us honest feedback so we're someone who may have thought something when they opened the package or there may have been something they were maybe a little disappointed with because they had anticipated something else you know perhaps 
by us sending a te- text message, they feel comfortable saying, actually, you know, I was thinking about this and I, I, I don't know about this, right? They can feel comfortable doing that without having to spend the time to sit down and write out an email. So hopefully this creates an open line of communication for people to feel like their voices are heard and have that feedback be received early and, you know, answered and taken care of. And beyond that, It's really good for us because a lot of the people have given us wonderful feedback. I mean, there's been so many times where people have said such encouraging things. And even in these early few days, we've only done it for a few days. And I've been excited because, you know, so so Melinda, Meryl, and I all receive all of the phone calls and all the text messages that come into the company. And Melinda is the one who's responsible for answering them. And Meryl also at some point sometimes answers them as well. But um, what ends up happening is, is when Melinda texts someone and then they text back, all of us get that message. We all see it. Now, Melinda is usually the only one that texts back. So she's the one that's in charge of the communicating. But so I and, and Meryl and, and, and Mel all see all of the pieces of what's happening as far as the feedback goes, which means that we can be really on top of it. We're all on the same page. And uh, it's really exciting. And I really want people to feel comfortable explaining what, what they like about the product and what they don't like about the product. So that's been something I've been really excited about with this text message. And it's, it's really something that, you know, one of the things that was brought up was how are we going to do this during the busy season? And that's a, a very real concern. Um, so I don't know if we're going to be able to do this forever. I'd like to do it forever. You know, we'll see as time goes on, we're going to be able to see how you know, how it works, right? Melinda has been keeping good records of when someone responds back. Well, you know, how, what did they respond with? Or was it positive, negative, neutral? You know, she's been able to do some of that. So we're going to start to keep track of, you know, the number of people that respond and then what they respond with, the kind of the content of their response to get a sense of how is the program working. But I am, I'm excited. I, I think that this opens up a whole new world of possibilities for us. And beyond that, it's something that our competitors aren't doing, and it's something that our large competitors can't really do, and or not really do well. And I'm excited about that, because if the program goes well, and if it works well, we absolutely will be continuing to do this. And even if we have to bring on people and hire people whose specific job is to do this program, that's still exciting, right? That's still something that I want to be able to do, because... It's so important, it's so critical to develop a relationship with people. And, you know, a lot of people say that money is a bad way to start a relationship. And I, I think that that can be true. We don't, I don't really believe that our first interaction for, with most of our community is money. I mean, on occasion it is. But I think most people come to us and c- spend time on our, our Instagram and on our Facebook and on our TikTok and on our Pinterest, and people watch our podcast, people spend some time on our website, people get a couple of emails. I think most people have some positive interactions outside of the realm of, I'm just creating a transaction. And that's them interacting with us. And that's them reaching out to us to learn more. So for me, a text message is a simple way for us to reach back, right? For us to be able to to connect back with people. You know, we, we comment on a lot of our Instagram posts. I do my best to keep on top of that. Um, you know, I respond to Twitter posts. I respond to TikTok. I respond to a lot of stuff. A lot of my day is actually spent responding to people. So, you know, we do our best to in, in, interact back with people via those platforms. But I, I do think that this text message is a, is a way for us to have an honest conversation and an honest relationship with people. And that's exciting. And that's really exciting. So I'll keep you guys posted. But if you're one of those people who gets a text message from us, feel free to use it as an opportunity to tell us anything. Anything that's, you know, you you like, anything you don't like, we want that. We want to be able to have that relationship with you so that you feel comfortable coming back to us in the future if there are ever things that you need or if there's ever issues with your journal. All right, folks, thanks for tuning in today. Be sure to check back in on next Tuesday. Be sure to check back in next Tuesday for our next topic. And don't forget to check that subscribe button to be sure to get the latest podcast right away. Also, be sure to turn on alerts so you get notified when we launch new things. If you have any questions or concerns about your leather binder, please feel free to contact us on the main page of our website at murdycreative.co. Or you can contact us via Instagram and Facebook. You can text, call, you email, do all the usuals, do the direct message. I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible, but I do appreciate your patience. If you think we deserve it, a good review can go a long way to help us grow our new community and word of mouth is still the best form of advertising. So please tell your friends, leave a review on the podcast, leave a review on the product on Facebook. If you have any podcast topics you want to hear more about, send them my way. I'm always happy to engage with our growing community and I want to give you guys what you want. 
If you're looking for multiple binders, for gifts, giveaways, menus, really any reason, ask about our bulk discounts available. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great day and goodbye.